the Mac M4 mini package has received and we'll just unbox it to see the contents inside it. We'll see what is in there in it. You could see here that's the Mac mini with ample M4 chip. This is a 16 gigabit storage version. I've just taken the basic 256 GB of storage. And without further delay, let's just unbox and see the M4 in all its glory. This is your uh, Mac M4 Mini. It's almost half the size of your old uh, M1 and M2 chips. We've got a little bit of a charging cable here. And there are some uh, few paperworks with your design in Apple. And this is your uh, power cable. We've got the Mac Mini branding here. The power button is just over here. The form factor of the device is really small. It's almost in the size of my uh, iPhone. And the power adapter followed by a gigabit Ethernet cable is there. And we've got a full size HDMI followed by three USB-C cables. We don't have any um, type A USB ports here. That's one thing missing. If you've got any devices that are still using up USB-A, that would be a problem for you. You need to connect up and uh, extension or an adapter towards that. On the front end of it, you will be able to see um, there's again two more USB-A ports here, followed by your 3.5 mm jack. That's one good thing that we've got. That's your uh, on and off. This is like showing up when there's a hard disk intensive uh, operation is happening on that. Besides that, the device seems to be like really cool and it's really handy. And in fact, like it weighs less than a pound. It's not even heavy. This Mac Mini is like so tiny, it's almost in the size of my phone. You could see here the form factor of this is almost uh, 3 fourth of my phone. The phone is like almost 6.3 inches in size, so this should be somewhere between 5 inches, I guess. So this is almost 5 inches in uh, width and 5 inches in uh, length. And this should be like 2 or 3 uh, inches in height. So that's your new uh, Mac M4 Mini. Let's just see the uh, specs of it and how it's perform on your day-to-day -day, uh, running and uh, how it functions as a PC. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The Mac M4 Mini has arrived and uh, this is uh, packed up with the Apple's uh, latest M4 chip. But is it really worth the upgrade? That's the uh, topic that we're going to discuss today. We'll see the pros and cons of this uh, compact powerhouse. We just saw in the early part of the video the size it measures and how much weight it is. And uh, this is the uh, recent uh, addition from your um, Mac lineup and you'll be able to see that uh, this is uh, really um, having a very small form factor almost in the size of the phone and uh, though it is really small and tiny this is uh, powered up with the latest M4 chip the M4 chip is uh, twice as powerful as the M1 chip so M1 chip is one of the latest uh, the trending chip in the market it was earlier and it used to do all of your day-to-day uh, -day work without heavy multitasking the same is the uh, case in this chip as well. This helps you with uh, increased processing speed and efficiency. This is bundled with the 16 gigs of storage. It's all inbuilt. Nothing can be like changed by us. It's all assembled completely by Apple. And this is, uh, this is like ideal for your heavy multitasking, content creation, software development. All of those can be done with this. And you could see here in this comparison chart, the comparison between the uh, different uh, versions of M1, M2 and M3 chips and their uh, speed performances. You could see here in this video here. And uh, besides that, uh, this uh, also has an inbuilt GPU, which is uh, with your improved graphic performance, which makes it suitable for gaming and 3D applications. So the graphics of this is like really powerful because it's got a 10 core uh, GPU and a 10 core CPU as well. And the graphic test footage runs really smooth on this. You could see that in the video again here. And uh, the operation of this, though this is uh, 
powered up with a simple uh, smaller design. Uh, the cooling of this system is maintained by the proper thermal arrangement at the bottom of this. There's a single fan adjustment which is there on this. This is running very smooth on your day-to-day -day applications. On my desk, it runs really smooth. And when there is a heavy uh, memory intensive operation, it is going to run on with a fan little bit uh, blazing up in speeds. Besides that, all the other times it's really silent. And uh, coming to the connectivity options of this, this device is uh, bundled up with your uh, gigabit port of internet and if you want you can upgrade it to a 10 GB port as well and we've got uh, Thunderbolt ports and we've got a HDMI 2.1 which is compatible with 4K and 5K uh, displays. We can take up uh, three external displays from this uh, output and we've got a Bluetooth 5.3 and uh, we've got also uh, different uh, ports in the back as well as in the front for easy connectivity. And uh, next point would be in coming up your energy efficiency. The uh, M4 chips are uh, really low power consuming and uh, which means it could save a lot of electricity on a long run. And uh, that's one of the uh, USP of this device. So though this device is bundled up with a lot of uh, pros, uh, we've got a few um, limitations too on this, which we call, which we rather not call as cons, but those are uh, uh, limited things on this. The first thing is your upgradability. Once you choose the device from Apple, you will not be able to change the memory or storage in this. So I have taken the uh, 16 GB pack, which comes default on all the devices with the 256 GB of storage. So I will not be able to upgrade the storage on this device uh, unless otherwise I've opted for it in the initial days. So that's one of the uh, cons of this device. And uh, compatibility with older softwares with the recent versions of OS running on this, uh, uh, we've got the uh, latest OS which comes up in these uh, devices. We will not be having compatibility for your older 32-bit applications or your any other things which is not compatible with your M4 chip architecture. So that's one of the cons I would say is. This power button is like really problematic to me because uh, every time I need to boot this, I need to uh, go all the way behind and then turn on the power button and uh, just turn it on from here and then start running it. So uh, had it been a laptop, I would have just kept it on a sleep mode otherwise now it's a problem for me now the m4 chip is coming up in your uh, imac uh, as well as on this mac minis and uh, price point i would say this is one of the best deals from apple i would say because uh, the base variant is the best deal because uh, as you see the uh, price chart of apple you would be able to see that apple has this nice technique of taking up uh, or adding up additional things like if you add up uh, another 250 gb of storage that adds up your bill to another twenty thousand. And if you add up another 16 gigs of RAM, that adds up another 20,000. So they make you automatically upgrade up these devices to a higher price point. So that's one of the um, things in uh, Apple's uh, product range to continue. But this base model is a really great deal, I would say. And uh, the graphics on this, it's got an inbuilt GPU. It's a 10-core GPU, really powerful for all the usage, but it's not suitable for your hardcore gaming. So you will not be able to play really hardcore gaming, whichever is like a ray tracing kind of games, you will not be able to run on this, but all other basic level of games you'll be able to do. And uh, the look and feel of this is like this, I would call it as the miniature version of the Mac Mini, which we had earlier, the M1 and M2. Mac Minis, this is just the resized version of that. There is no design uh, upgrades to it. Just the same design, just the resized one. Uh, it is slightly bigger than your uh, Apple TV and uh, smaller than your old Mac. And uh, coming to the conclusion of this, um, I would say that this is one of the best uh, or the incredible offer from off, from Apple to if you wanted to go with uh, Apple Silicon and you wanted to experience that speed and the power from uh, Apple range of products, this is one of the best products and uh, they've got a really cool uh, working architecture on this, really fast, it's a 10 core GPU, 10 core CPU, available at the best price point, 16 gigs of storage and 2 disks GB of uh, um, SSD. If uh, that storage is enough for you, then uh, you can very well opt for this. I have opted for this device and if you are planning to upgrade it, do let me know in the comments and uh, I would love to see if you guys also have this plan to upgrade to this device. And don't forget to share this video and like this video, hit the bell icon as well for more such technical reviews and insights on this channel and um, I'll catch you up in the next one. Thanks for watching.